Hey there, we are Wally and Jill and Bueller. And we are Fox, party of three. So we looked at the map and we realized that we were relatively close to Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve. So we headed off in that direction and I'm so glad we did. You're able to camp there and that's really cool because you're camping in a lava flow and I've never done anything like that, so it was a great experience. Like all the other national parks, Bueller is not allowed on any of the trails. However, he did enjoy himself inside the campground area. I don't know what these flowers are called, but they would open up overnight and would be open in the morning as we got up. And as the day wore on and the heat got up, they would close up. Okay, so we have climbed to the top of Inferno Cone. It's not actually that high, but coming from the Gold Coast, it's kind of high. Okay, so although it sounds like I'm dying in that previous segment, I'm not. But hey, Altitude is a real thing, y'all. Coming from the Gulf Coast where everything's flat, and even though I was exercising, climbing that um, volcano there was tough. And altitude made all the difference. So here we are, taking in the views from the top, and you can see all the destruction that that volcano caused so many millions years ago. And it's really quite interesting. And I'm walking over here towards the edge um, and what we're going to see is the massive lava flow and it it really just kind of takes on the appearance of a river I mean you can just kind of see how it all just flew out and took over um, over there is the lost range um, and not much there to see and then that's the lava flow and it just goes on and on. And when you're driving in to the park area, it looks like a brick wall. I mean, you're on the road and you're looking over in that direction and it really just looks like a brick wall. But what it is, is the lava flow. So pretty impressive. Another interesting thing to take note of is the rebirth and growth that takes place in this what appears to be nothing but a land of destruction to see you know a tree growing juxtaposed in what is nothing but lava it's really interesting um, the other interesting thing is that I can't seem to grow a flower in a pot with miracle grow added to the perfect dirt, but yet a tree can grow in a lava flow. I can't explain it. So here we are at the spatter cone exhibit. You can climb up to the top of it and peer down inside. Spatter cones are formed when blobs of lava are ejected, thrown, from one event and they pile up on the top of each other around a vent and create that cone. So that was really cool to climb up there and look down inside. Of course, some goofballs had thrown stuff down inside of it, which kind of ruins the whole thing. But anyway, there it is. So don't be a goofball. That's the plain and simple of it. The Devil's Orchard Trail is flat and paved, so a super easy hike. Also, the night sky is amazing. There is no light pollution anywhere near this area. So amazing night skies with all the stars and the Milky Way. Unfortunately, I don't have a camera that can show you that, but I'm working on that. Anyway, we had a great time. Hope you'll visit one day and take it all in. Thanks for watching.